Hi kids, welcome to Dixie Storytime World. Macy and the Pirates, The Sea Monster by Sam Walshaw. One day, Captain Kodai found an old treasure map. Aha, he said. X marks the spot where the sunken treasure is. It's a pirate's job to find hidden treasure. He told his pirate crew on the good ship Barnacle. We're all setting sail for X marks the spot. Soon, Captain Kodai spied the X down below. Drop the anchor, Crazy Macy, he yelled. We'll have to dive to the bottom of the sea to get to that sunken treasure. Aye, aye, Captain, Macy replied. Take a deep breath. Gasped Crazy Macy. Splash! Captain Kodai and Crazy Macy jumped in and swam straight down to the seabed. There's the treasure! Gurgle, 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 gurgle Crazy Macy. Fill your boots! Bubbled Captain Kodai. Now let's head back up! Crazy Macy and Captain Kodai swam up towards the trusty barnacle. They couldn't wait to show the treasure to the others. But just as they were nearly there, they spotted a great, big, purple, pop-eyed pirate eating sea monster heading their way. And he looked very grumpy. Oh no, it's the purple, pop-eyed pirate eating sea monster, gasped Captain Kodai. Quick! Captain Kodai and Crazy Macy leapt up out of the sea and landed safely on the deck of the barnacle. Hoist the sails, ordered Captain Kodai. It's the purple pop-eyed pirate eating sea monster. Daisy jumped to work and hoisted the sails. Suddenly, the purple pop-eyed pirate eating sea monster popped up out of the sea and snarled at them. Roar! At first, they were all too scared to do anything. But then Daisy took charge, even though she was the smallest pirate. She stumped right up to the monster and told him off for being such a mean, grumpy bully. The purple, pop-eyed, pirate-eating sea monster was so shocked he burst into tears. <laughs> oh, there, there, said Daisy. She gave the monster a hug and a tissue and invited him onto the barnacle for buns and cakes, as long as he behaved himself. The monster was shy at first, but he felt better when he had a piece of cake and the pirate saw he really was quite a nice monster after all. The monster said he was sorry for being so mean and grumpy. I've got this terrible itch on my back. It's made me meaner and meaner and grumpier and grumpier, he explained. Daisy had a look. Blistering barnacles, she squeaked. There's an octopus stuck down your pants. His tentacles must have been tickling you all this time. I'll pull him out. Ah, finally, at last the itch had gone. The monster felt so much better. He promised not to scare anyone again. At least, not on purpose. By the way, he said, I don't really eat pirates. I'd much rather have a nice currant bun. The monster thanked the crew of the good ship Barnacle and went on his way. He was a much happier monster now that he'd got rid of that itch. And the octopus was pleased to be out of his pants too. The end. Thank you kids for listening. Remember, always be good and kind. And I'll see you soon in the next video. Bye for now.